Hello, in this video we're going to convert the raster channel network to a vector line format. We will use the rthin tool from GRASS in the first step in order to be sure that the lines are only one pixel wide. We can keep the defaults and we save the file to a geotiff, so make sure you change from .map to .tiff. And I call it channel thin. Let's run it. You can ignore the warning. Warnings are not errors. Click close and here we see the result. We can adjust the legend by using the palleted unique values and click classify again. There you see that it has taken over the values 8, 9 and 10 of the original layer corresponding with the Strahler orders. But if we compare both layers, then we can also see what the difference is. So it has reduced it to only one pixel width, which we need for the next tool to convert it to vector. Therefore, we use the R2Vec tool from GRASS. So the input is the channel thin geotiff. We change the feature type to line. We check the box to use the raster values as categories instead of a unique sequence. In that way, it will use those Strahler orders from the raster. Also there we define that the output is a line. And we can save the result as a shapefile. Let's call it channels. Also here we can ignore the warnings and it will produce the result. Here we see that it has a line through the center of the pixels. Let's have a look at the attribute table. There we see a field called cat, which has the pixel values for the Strahler orders. Now in reality, we don't have Strahler orders that start with eight and then go to nine and then to 10. So we can recode them to the real Strahler orders of the rivers. So I create a new field called order, which are whole numbers. The output field length is uh, one because we only have uh, values one, two and three in the end. And I use the case when function. Go to fields and values. So when cut equals order eight, then it should be order one. When it's nine, make it two. And when it's 10, make it three. And the case function ends with an end statement. Preview doesn't give errors, so that looks good. Click OK to apply it, and here we see the result. We can sort the order, so we see one is the first order. Toggle off the editing and save the result. And go to the layer styling panel to uh, change the styling of this vector layer. Uh, go to the simple line and change that to interpolated line. Let's zoom a bit out to get an overview. And we use for the stroke width a varying width. The start value is order and the end value is also order. We already see some results here, but it is scaling it now between uh, 0 and 10, while we only have uh, 1 until 3. So if I click the refresh button, it is now scaled between 1 and 3, but that looks a bit too drastic. So we need to also change the minimum and maximum width. I'm going to use here points and I change it from one to three points and that looks more like how it should be. And the only thing that remains is to change the color to uh, something blue for water. And let's use this combination. Let's put the color hill shade in the background and our rivers are on top. So in this video, you've learned how to convert a raster river network to a nicely styled uh, vector line network. <music>